I thank you for giving me the honor to make this very brief presentation with respect to my maiden meeting with the President and Commander-in-Chief after my redeployment to Federal Ministry of Environment. I had the opportunity to present to Mr. President in accordance with the key priorities of the Ministry, uh, certain key projects that are undergoing um, some sort of review and uh, seeking a direction from Mr. President. First, you are all aware of the hydrocarbon pollution remediation project, which you call the Ogoni Cleanup. It's a major priority of this government, and particularly uh, based on the undertaking and the promises made by Mr. President to deliver a very clean ecosystem for the Ogoni people. Now, I updated the President on where we are today, and uh, with my subsequent engagement, with my earlier engagement rather, with key stakeholders. I had discussions with Shell. That is the United Nations uh, Environment Program. Um, I also have discussions with the chairman of the Ogoni Trust Fund. And, um, and of course, the newly deployed uh, project coordinator of the fund. So I have updated the president on that. and. The key understanding is that we are focused on delivery of the Ogoni cleanup. We are directed, particularly by the President, to be very focused and, as he said, fix our eyes on the ball to ensure there are no distractions that we deliver. He has given us matching orders to ensure that the concerns raised by the partners particularly Shell, UNEP, AGIP, Total, and other parties, and indeed the stakeholders themselves of the, of the Ogoni land, that those concerns are addressed to ensure that the process goes um, unhindered. The second issue I bring the President is about the, you all recall that in December last year, Mr. President was appointed the, the, the President of the Conference of Heads of State and Government of the Pan-African Great Green Wall uh, member states. Um, was uh, elected as the president of the Conference of Heads of States and Government of the Pan-African uh, Great Green Wall project. Now, all of us understand the basis of this project uh, because of desertification, uh, because of um, our receding vegetations, and then coupled with um, lack of water, there is a need to ramp up uh, the processes of ensuring that we have a long belt across the Sahel to stop this uh, desert encroachment. So Mr. President has directed us to hold a Council of States, uh, Council of States, of member states of the Pan-African Great Green Wall to hold a meeting on the 16th of June this year to prepare an agenda for the eventual meeting of the Conference of Head of State and Government uh, to, one, look at the budget and uh, strategic plan for, for this year for the member states, and then to ensure that we have modalities to access the over 16.2 billion euros that is available from, from, from funding partners of the project. Uh, to support this project. And then Mr. President also agreed to have uh, impartions of his uh, pledge for Nigeria to plant about 25 million trees. He has agreed at a later date to launch a multifaceted national tree planting campaign where uh, the governors will be involved so that they can also replicate them in their states and as well as local government chairman and traditional rulers. The essence is to ensure that it's a multi-pronged approach where it is community-driven to ensure a sustainable process uh, that will stand the test of time. Uh, and of course, I bring Mr. President on Acrisol project. The Acrisol project you all recall, you remember it's about, uh, uh, it's about um, land 
dry land remediation and management in the arid landscapes across the 19 northern states and FCT. It's basically focused on land remediation, uh, watershed remediation, and then community climate resilience. But essentially, the program is focused on making uncultivatable land to be cultivatable, to make sure that people have access to clean water, to make sure that there will be multiple um, usage of our land uh, uh, resources, essentially. And Mr. President is agreeable, and he has given us to go ahead to engage the World Bank, uh, because they are the partners who are funding the project with about $700 million, but they are going to be utilized by member states who uh, provided a, a, a project that is both evaluated by the World Bank, the Ministry of Environment, and the project on of Akrisal. So I thank you very much for listening to me. There is nothing miraculous about our approach to the cleanup operations. It is going to be a very pragmatic, practicable, and um, quick win solution. First, like I told you earlier, is to ensure that there is a multi-stakeholder agreement in terms of what we're supposed to do, where we're going. Then secondly, we have taken very strong steps to address the concerns uh, bordering on procurement, on project management, on fund management, etc., so that all stakeholders will be on board. So I can assure you that if these issues are resolved within the next couple of weeks, we should be focused on immediate uh, procurement processes that will ensure that the projects are implemented as at when do. However, they are in phased, uh, they are phased uh, projects. We do not envisage that we can finish the entire project within uh, the lifespan of this government. However, the process that we can do at the moment, the procurement that we can do at the moment to ensure that there is immediate remediation, uh, water projects, to ensure that there are clean water provided for the Goni people, and that other sites uh, will begin the remediation process. This is done in liaison with UNEP and our sister agency, uh, NORSDA. So we are on course, we'll do the best we can, and I can assure you that we will cover some mileage in the process. So there is no magic or miracle about it. We are focused on what we want to do. Like I told you, Mr. President said, our eyes must be on the ball. And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, uh, at the moment, from the briefings I've gotten uh, from the, coordinator, the project coordinator of, of, of HyPrep, there has been considerable uh, you know, progress in terms of actual site remediation. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the sites here, but close to about um, uh, close to about ten sites, you know, that are very endemic in terms of uh, pollution, you know, and, and damage to the ecosystem, have been remediated. So we are actually on course. There have been some a number of uh, uh, you know measures that have gone into that process, but I can provide the site for you later. Yes, y yes. Thank you so much, sir. I can disappear, huh?